This video is about Ohm's law, V is equal to IR, and the title kind of explains the whole video. Ohm's law tells us that voltage is current multiplied by resistance. This is really just a rearrangement of that equation you learned in the resistance video. I'm just going to run through and show you a few simple examples of Ohm's law and then a more complex example. So Ohm's law can be used to find either voltage, current, or resistance. So you can see that for each of these, we have two of the three things that we need to understand what's missing. So for all three of these, we can just use V equals IR rearrange them to find the variable that we're looking for, plug in the numbers that we're given, and find the answer. So in this first example on the left, that current experiences a voltage drop of 12. In the middle example, the current moving in the circuit is 0.5 amps. And in the last example, the resistance in that resistor is 33.3 ohms. Ohm's law can be used to find either individual currents, voltages, and resistances, or the total current, voltage, and resistance given the other two. As long as each variable applies to the same object in the circuit, or all three apply to the total circuit, the equation works. So V1, the voltage drop in resistor 1, will be equal to the current in resistor 1 times the resistance of resistor 1. Voltage drop 2 will be equal to the current in resistor 2 times the resistance of resistor 2. And the total voltage will be equal to the total current times the equivalent resistance. So just plugging this in, I'm going to say that I have a current of 2 amps moving around the circuit. So applying V equals IR to each resistor gets me a total voltage of 10 across the first resistor and a voltage of 6 across the second resistor. And I can see here that each equation holds true. The current going through the first resistor of 5 times the resistance is equal to 10. So we can see that Ohm's law here holds true for both the individual resistors and the total resistance because the total resistance here is 8 and the total voltage is 16. So 16 is equal to 2 amps times the equivalent resistance of 8 also holds true. So this is how we use Ohm's law to find the voltage, current, and resistance in each resistor and in the total circuit.